Hey guys, and welcome back to, wait for it, Alone in the Dark. There we go, brain working. Uh, when we last left off, uh, we were just about to recite the incantation, uh, which we need to do standing here, I believe. Now, to actually hear the incantation that we need to recite, it is, of course, on the dictaphone, doodad which was in the document there. Now the only trouble with it is the incantation is right at the beginning of the tape, but you have to listen to the entire tape every single time. So I did that off camera down the words that I think we have to say, uh, army of darkness style, you know, <clears throat> but we can't bungle it obviously like uh, our boy Ash did. Cause uh, well, we know how that went down with the Necronomicon. So. We need to stand here, and we need to say yes. Right, we need Ogunai. Yes. Ogunai, I poured. Ha 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 ha. Orma. Orna. Not sure why we're flailing, flailing our arms up in the air. Ooh, hello. And that gives us the stone steel and another statue representing a ball. Right. Uh, I guess we can't give her a, a, a ring. Right. So, what did. Oh. What? Check the stone steely. One foot diameter. Now. Uh, I'm. Yes, it. Oh, here we go. Aline, it's Carnby. So, Mr. Witch Doctor, how about that ritual? Yeah, you won't be laughing when I tell you I recovered a statue and some kind of stone disc. A disc that's about 10 inches wide? That's right. Okay, I'll head for the fort. You come towards me. Gotcha. Okay, well, that was easy. I thought I was actually going to have to manually give her a bell, but nope, cool. So, so we've got to go to the gate then. Um, oh, right, yeah. Of course, we have beast. Get the gun ready, because we don't want to be wasting the shotgun on these things. Now, I'm getting the feeling, actually, oops, that we don't have a huge amount left with Carnby. I could be, oh, hello. I could be wrong, but definitely feels uh, a little bit endgame-esque. So whether Carnby's scenario, oh, fucking hell, hello. Whether Carnby's... Um, story is genuinely just a little bit shorter than uh aligns i'm not sure hey you're not dead dick right oh well. well let's go through here through the zombie swamp i can only imagine what this place smells like i don't know how many of these beasts uh morton actually made seems like quite a few unless you just can't destroy them they constantly respawn um, they constantly come back to life. Oh dear. Can we reload manually? We can. Nice. Alright. Come on you fucking brain dead bastards. One at a time. There we go. Let's melt these guys down with a flamethrower. Seems to be super effective. Uh, funny enough, actually, this has... Oh god, hell, let's see what I mean? See how cheap that was? Didn't even get a chance to react. Walked in, got hit. There we go. Yeah, that was a little bit on the cheap side, if you ask me. But then that seems to be, you know, the name of the game. Very cheap enemy placements. I mean, they don't do a huge amount of damage to you, so... It's not that bad. But it's still annoying, man. Ah, uh, right, we need to go up here, I think, don't we? Yeah, up the stairs. 
up the stairs. Now, oh, hello. Oh, okay. And we're here, apparently. There she is. I'm warning you. I won't hesitate to shoot. Who else is it gonna be? Carnby? You scared the daylights out of me. I almost shot you. You ain't gonna do much damage with that pistol of yours. Do I detect a regret? Stop kidding. Do you have the stone disc we talked about? And what will you give me in exchange? <laughs> I see you're a real smooth talker, Carnby. Here, I found this. I have no idea what use it might be, but... That rings a bell. How are you getting on? I recovered the tablet, and I've got two statues. How about you? I'm still missing some things. You seem to have acquired a taste for our adventures. Get real. I just want to get out of here. And now? Now, I have to go back to the fort. Good luck. You too, Carnby. So maybe we don't actually have to go to the fort. What does she give us? I'm sure we go to the fort eventually. Right, we took a seal. Um. So. Solid gold signet ring initialed OM. Hmm. Well, I don't really see how that helps us. Unless we need to set it some... Well, <laughs> obviously we need to set it somewhere, but... Through here, perhaps? Was there anywhere that... Um... Can't be used here. Cannot be used here. Can we? Oh, okay. Right. Uh, dry blood. There's a lot of dry blood here. Right. Oh, wait. Can we see on this? Oh, hello. Uh. Will help us a huge amount, does it? Unless we only have to push one button, but make a lot of sense. Uh, right. So push that. Not that that appears to have actually done anything. What about... No. Uh, right. So, where could we go then? That we could use this steel on. There's... There is a door here. And the only thing is that unless there's some stuff outside maybe doesn't look like it I think where else we could possibly have been to uh what do we have we've got um so, combine that with that, nope. Combine that with that, nope. Eat one of those. Right, okay, so we're back to kind of like square one. Uh, let's see if we can get on the blower. Aline? Nope. Nope, Aline's not interested. Okay, uh, shh. Oh. So I'm guessing 
I'm guessing that there's going to be other symbols dotted around. But where? I hope they're not dotted around in here because, nah, I was going to say, you're not going to be able to find them in that way. Um, not really. So let's go back and see if we can highlight anything. I wouldn't have thought there's anything where the plane crashed. Ah, look. Alright. Alright. Yep, come on you. Have some fire. Ooh. This really lights them up, doesn't it? Huh. Okay. I think we're onto something. But where? So we know we need the... Um... The star. Ah. Ah, I bet there's something up here. I bet there is. So how many buttons do we have to push? Probably three, I guess. That, well, that is a guess. I hope. Yeah, because there's a lot of dried blood everywhere. Right. Okay. So we need, like, the pitchforks. Yep. Pitchfork, star. What else? Pitchfork, star. Unless we do have to go back to where the plane crashed, which, eh, I guess we could do that. It's kind of like a pain in the balls, but um, I'm sure we can figure that out. Right. Nothing in here? Sure. No. So, pitchfork, star. What else? What else you got for me? I do like this idea. Like, it's a cool idea that I had completely and utterly forgotten about. But it's still a cool idea. Right, yeah, it's got Mr. Boy's head here. Ooh. And the, yeah, this that we just, I, for some reason, cannot pick up. Which, I don't know what that's about. It's a bit AIDS, if you ask me. Like, why would you have something like that there? We can't pick it up. There's no blood here. We sure? No. Alright. I would have thought there really would have been something there. Not sure. That's really annoying that we can't pick that up, actually. So far, we've got a pitchfork. And we, does this guy have a symbol on him anywhere? Uh, no. No, he doesn't. Okay, so, right. Got ya. There has to be more symbols, though, surely. Can't just be two. Ah, uh, fucking dickheads. Piss off. Oh, hello. Yep. Hi. Nice to meet ya. Have some flame. There you go. What do you think of that? Huh? Huh? Right. What I thought. Oh, God. <laughs> you can't aim this thing down, which is... Silly. Unless somewhere else there's another trail of blood, but yeah, maybe. The, mm, yeah, mm, maybe. Okay, well, piss off, ankle biting bastard. Ooh, that was a very strange sound. Could have been an emulator glitch. That's the only thing with emulators, they do glitch out at times. Right, okay, so... Can we go anywhere else? There's our poor drowned pilot. Doesn't look like we can go anywhere here. I thought there was another bit down there, but no, I guess not. God, that pilot man, he's been here all that time. Just, you know, waiting. And then we turn up and he sinks into the mud and drowns. Ah, that's pretty savage. Right. It's possible. See, look, there's blood here. And then it doesn't go anywhere else. Nothing up here. 
Yeah, it literally disappears there, I think. Well, I mean, let's try Pitchfork. Yeah, uh, let's quickly... Go oh, let's quickly go up here. Because there is more blood up here. Oh, right. Okay, so you've got Pitchfork, Weird, Key Thing. I mean, three symbols make sense. Two doesn't really. Okay, okay. Let's try that. Let's see what happens. Right, so Pitchfork. You got that thing, Pitchfork, and that. Oh, there we go. Oh, you did it right because it's like beep. very nice progress at long last all right time to go down very nice got here ah that's got to be for the ring okay i was gonna say um we don't have a key but i guess we do have a key of sorts. Okay, so, ooh. Ooh. Interesting. Great camera angle, guy. So. Do we still need this thing on the flashlight? There's some bad voodoo down here. There is some bad voodoo down here. Uh, that only leads us to one door. Well, let us add him. Ooh. So, oh God, look, this is where he really did some experimentation. Let's flick the shit switch and see what happens. Uh, can't be. Big switch in front of you. You know, Right there. Okay. You sure? You sure you don't want to touch it? Alright. I'll take your word for it. But if this is the statue situation again, not going to be impressed. Oh man, he experimented on a lot of people, obviously. Like, a lot of people. Jeebus. No map available. That's great. Now let's see if we can actually pick this one up. Yeah, we can pick that one up. Alright. Walk softly and carry a big stick. That is what we're doing. Empty cabinet. That's no good. Demonic machinery. Any shotgun shells around? Oh. Hello. What is all this? Another switch that we can't do anything with. Standard. What about this doodad? A power generator. So I guess we need a power source. Which we don't have, I'm guessing. Right, okay. I mean, there's a door there. Which is locked. So we can go through it. We just can't go through it yet. Got you. Okay. Okay. So, what else do we have? Oh man, look at all this stuff. Someone had a bloody good time down here, didn't they? Another switch there. I'm guessing we need to... Ooh. God, look. This is like nightmare fuel. He was really playing with all these people down here. Hmm. Oh, smooth, can't be. Smooth. Nervous system made up of a dark and shiny mass, about 15 inches long by 7 inches wide. Chaotic structure reacts directly to white light, contracting like a pupil. I'm taking all the samples needed to carry out a biochemical analysis. I already believe it possible to assert that the main elements composing it are zinc and beryllium. As for the others, I'm mainly interested in their 
central crystalline structure. It's that structure that I need to extract and inject. Who goes there? Alan, don't even think about it. I could have gotten rid of you a dozen times at least. But I'd rather you had a taste of darkness mm -hmm. when you're still alive. When my friends are done with you, your body will still come in handy for me. <laughs> <laughs> right. So he just completely runs past with no shits given. You can answer when I call. Aline, I just ran into Alan right in the middle of one of his macabre experiments. He was up to his elbows dissecting. I don't want to know what. How horrible. But where are you? In an underground laboratory. It looks as though Alan's experiments require quite a bit of material and corpses. I don't know. He hightailed it out of there and cut off the power supply. I'm stuck here in the dark. I found a floor plan. I think it's the layout of the lab. Wait. There's an exit just next to the operating table. Okay, on my way. Yeah, but you know, sealed it up. So. Let's see how that's a problem. Uh oh. How does she know where I am? She got a GPS in my asshole? Alright. Well, I gathered we were going to have to go back the way we came. We throw these switches now? No. So what are we going to bump into down here then? Well, I can't see shit. So, I'm just walking and... Okay. So, this way? This way? What way did we come through here? Follow the wall. You can't miss it. Okay. I guess that helps. Follow the wall. Now, if I take that thing off our torch... Is our torch actually brighter? Uh, right. Split. Oh god, yeah. Okay, cool. The doorway's locked with metal bars. Yes. Alan must have set up an automatic locking system. Wait. The plan includes the layout for all the lab's power tables. It must show where the locking mechanism is. Thanks, Aline. You're a lifesaver. Try not to make a habit out of it. Wait. I've got a problem. What? have to find a solution. Maybe if I turn all these devices back on, we can provoke an overload and free up the door. Okay, let's try. Uh, Where do I begin? There are two tables with an experimental device on them. Follow the wall to the left of the door to find them. Okay. Some real house of horrors in here. Right. Good thing she has this GPS locator. Yeah, I'm just trying to explore. I see the shiny, I go for it. Right. Okay. Oh, hello. Where do you come from, dude? Oh, you're not actually. Wait, what? Okay. You're gonna be like, no, come back the way you came. Piss off. Let's go. Yep, here we go. I don't know what that means. Come back the way you came. What The way we came originally, you know, where we could see what we were doing and where we were going. Because we don't have a map, do we? No. Alright. Alright, let's give that one a yank. Okay, now we have some power. This will be of some use. Keep on going after you get past the table and you'll hit the corridor. 
go through the passage and head straight on down the corridor. The cell's corridor. Anyway, the light switch is at the very end of it. Okay. I don't really have much choice. Right, well, there we go. That's one load of voodoo activated. So this is the corridor that we keep trying to go down. And she's like, no, no, go. Straight ahead. Straight ahead. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. This is a little bit redundant. You don't need to be pausing, answering that every 30 seconds. Are we just going to get zombies? Right. She said straight ahead. So I'm going to go straight ahead. All right. <laughs> Could they have made this any slow? Um, I mean, this bit's actually quite cool. Not gonna lie. Hey, we have something. Okay, I just lit a projector, but I didn't get any of the promised overload. Have some patience. I'd like to see you try it. The light switch is in the side room. Go back the other way and turn right at the intersection, then follow the corridor. Got ya. I got ya. It's annoying when they're saying, like, turn right and stuff like that. And they're spawning enemies, like, right on us as well. What's weird? These guys... Are, they just appear, scream at you a little bit, and then disappear. It's strange. And I was going to say, you know there's one around the corner. Get the light on. And every time we have a cutscene, he turns his flashlight off. So, he didn't that time. Curiously enough. Wanted me to sound like a dickhead. Fair. Alright, Aline. Alright. You don't have to answer every single time, dude. Okay? I'm sure she gets it. There's the third switch. Is there a fourth? Aline, you should see this. I don't even want to know what Alan... I just turned on some kind of laser beam. Okay, in theory, now's the time that something should happen. Nothing's happening. I'm gonna stay stuck here. That's it. It's working. <laughs> okay. Take the door to your left and cross the laboratory to reach the exit. Thanks a lot. On my way. Yeah, but 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 there's there's still flashy stuff in here. Ah, right. Okay. So what do we have here? Christopher Lamb. Obed Morton. My patience has its limits. You promised me results and I'm still waiting for them. Your brother's es escapades are, a li uh, are of little interest to me. I agreed. Take care of your family's considerable debt. And I granted you loans. The loans you requested. I supplied you with all the raw materials you claim to have need of. I, uh, need I remind you that you are useful, but not indispensable? It would inconvenience me, inconvenience me greatly to have to use, how shall I put it, more persuasive means to obtain the translation of the tablets and a copy of your brother's work notes. If I do not receive a reply to this letter, I will not hesitate to employ the necessary method to achieve my ends. Christopher Lamb. Ah. Yeah, okay, fine. Get rid of that. Yeah, so... Lamb is... Alan is conducting autopsies. Yeah. So Lamb is a little bit salty about the whole thing. As you'd imagine. Okay, let's go. Where? Ah, ah. That's just in that room. Okay. We've certainly... Oh no, wait a minute. No, we've not been here before.
I've got two statues. And you? Thanks. I also have two statues. I went by Alan Morton's lab and I'm starting to get an idea of Lamb's goals. And what about your friend? Fisk? I don't think these scumbags even gave him a fighting chance. You mean the Morton brothers? No, I'm talking about Lamb and Johnson. Fisk probably never even set foot on this damn island. So what are you going to do? First of all, I'm going to get us out of here. It seems that if I keep going, I should be able to reach the cellars beneath the manor. When I was down there, I opened a trap that leads to the greenhouse. Okay, thanks. Greenhouse, you say? Okay. Well, let's keep going. Yeah, I don't think Fisk was actually here at all, to be honest. Ooh. Sounds like we've got monsters down here. Good. We need some monsters to waste. Ooh. I was going to say, there's something going on down here. The emulator's bagging up like crazy. Eh, we're not going to go that way, I guess. Wait. Ah, right. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, this simulator does lag up quite... Like, now and again. You know, when something weird's happening. But it's... Very subtle. It's probably to do with the game engine, to be in it, to be honest. Run! There is a strange thing shaking this place. I'm guessing sooner rather than later we're going to run into the thing that's shaking this place. If I turn the light off, it's smooth sailing. Put the light on, it lags up. Which makes me think it's probably an emulation. Uh, not an emulation. Way the dream. Ran the game. Um, okay. So, what have we got now? We've got this big contraption. We've got a door there. Uh, and a whole load of nothing this side. Lots of urns, though. wonder if they contain ashes of the dead. Oh! interesting look at all this old equipment that they're i mean this is proper ancient analog junk i thought you could have had uh some kind of modern equipment let's use the tape lamb is that you professor morton what a pleasure to hear from you don't overdo it did you receive the documents yes and I wish to thank you for them. You say your brother's work has made great progress. His notes are extremely clear. I had the feeling I was reading a medical course for first-year students. <laughs> However, I remain convinced that you could have sent me the contents of the writing tablet's translation a while back. You wouldn't have been trying my patience by any chance, would you? Stop it. You sound like Alan. You've no idea of what's going on here. If I believe what is in your twin's notes, it must be close to hell, right? I sent you two of my best agents. Two agents will never stand a chance. What we need is the entire army. The army? The army? Don't get carried away now. You've managed perfectly well until now without my help, right? Come get me out of here right now. Mr. Morton, I do not think you understand me quite well. Thanks to your brother and yourself, I have made great headway. For me, the great day is drawing near. As of now, you are of no more use to me. Lamb? Lamb! Oh. He who would have thunked it. As soon as he got what he wants, he's out of there. Uh, yes. Feeling like a disposable tool, yeah. Right, anyway, guys, this is going to have to end it for this part. So, when we come back, we're going to continue putting pressure. Morton.
hopefully find a new weapon because uh i think we need i think it's time for an upgrade we'll see how it goes but i don't think there's a huge amount of the game left so at least that's the feeling i'm getting from roughly where i remember where we were when we were playing as a line um anyway thanks for watching guys and as always till next time